Got my firewood. Today I'm going to a national park that I've never been to before, Indiana Dunes National Park. I've been wanting to go there just like on a weekend for a really long time, but every time I'd want to go, it would be like super last minute, like either the weekend before or even like the week of. And so I checked their website to see if there were any campsites available. Campsites are like 25 bucks a night, so cheap, good option. But like they're always booked out weeks in advance, so I never had a chance to do it. So, so then like early September, I just figured, you know, I've been trying to do this for so long. I always try to decide at the last minute and it doesn't work. It's only $25, so why don't I just make a reservation? Oh, it's like the weekend of October 8th or 9th or whatever. Like this was the first one that they had available, like any campsites available. And I think there were only like four campsites left. I booked it, paid the $25 and then kind of like forgot about it. I, I mean, I put it on my calendar, but I was just kind of like, well, we'll see how I'm feeling that week. We'll see if it still works out. And it did. So that's where I'm going. I'm excited to get to check another national park off the list. It is chillier this weekend. So for example, today it's only 48 degrees out right now. I brought my tent, um, but I might actually end up sleeping in the back of my car. All right, here we go. center I missed it uh, the first time so I had to drive around the block it was confusing too because the signs at Indiana Dunes State Park um, but I think it's like talking about the National Park America the beautiful pass renewed park rangers are honestly the best I didn't have a great plan for what I wanted to do here but she went over kind of all like the key points and I feel like I already have a plan for the day just based on the five minute spiel that I'm sure she gives to everyone. All right, we're at our first spot. The lake is really blue today. Oh my gosh, is that Chicago? You can see Chicago in the distance. Interestingly though, this is right next to a giant steel mill. Chicago's out there. Now we're on the West Beach Loop Trail. You could drive right up to the beach, but I wanted to do this little hike. It is a little bit chilly, so I broke out the winter hat again. At the last stop, it was so windy by the lake that it made my ears hurt because it was so cold. It's not about that life. up. I'm surprised there's cacti here. I wouldn't expect to see that in Indiana. It kind of looks like a fiddly fig almost. This 
So now, of course, on this hike, I got hot again. So I put my Patagonia jacket and my hat back in my bag. Here we got some of the dunes. I think we're on top of a dune. Hiking in sand is a little bit of a challenge. Why do I feel like this is Lake Erie? Have I been saying Lake Erie this whole time? This is Lake Michigan. Not Lake Erie. Wow, the waves look like a painting. No clue. I'm almost back to my car. Just about finished with the West Beach Loop Trail. Next I'll have to decide what I want to do. I'll probably look at what time sunset is to have an idea for how much time I really have. I don't like this. It's warm in the car. There's the homestead. Next stop, Dunewood Campgrounds. Made it to my camp spot. I brought some random stuff with me to make couscous with vegetables, so I'm gonna cut up some of that stuff now. Last pepper. Brought a shallot because I figured an onion would be too big. So I'm like, just go with a smaller version of an onion, right? It's kind of what a shallot is. Just give me a lot of shallot. Oh well. Should I use the whole thing? Honestly, maybe not. Got some olive oil. Just gonna put that in first. And peppers, gonna have to pick those up before the squirrels get them. Couscous from Trader Joe's, along with Trader Joe's seasoning. Yes, seasoning the AeroPress stirrer again, but it just works so well. Why not, right? Alright, let's see how this goes. Boiling my couscous. Never done something like this before with the camp stove. We will see how it works. It stays warm. Yeah, I can't 
heat it like this. Heat in a little bit more. This is actually my first time like renting a campsite and staying at a campsite that you drive into and have the whole little setup with the campfire. I think it's ready. Excited. So when I got to my campsite, I did think it was a little weird because there was a tent here and I just assumed maybe someone left it. I, I don't know, I had, it was, I double checked, it was my campsite number, but I was eating my dinner and another girl just by herself pulls up to this site. She kind of looks confused and she said, well, first of all, she said, I think I saw you on the trail earlier, which is true. We did pass each other on the trail earlier. And then she said, are you sure this is your campsite? And I said, yes, I double checked. Is this your tent? It's her tent. Turns out she'd come, set her tent up. She'd gathered some firewood, which I also did think it was weird. There was a lot of really good kindling by the fire and I was excited about that. But apparently she put that there. So then she asked if I wanted to switch campsites um, since she's gotten this one all set up. And I was kind of like, well, <laughs> I'm in the middle of eating my dinner. Like it'd be a little bit difficult for me to just pack up and go right now. But sure, we could do that later. She had flipped the numbers. So she's at, I'm at Mother 12 and she's at Mother 21. So I was like, sure like after I eat like it's probably gonna be another 15 minutes and she's like okay I'll just go kill some time and come back so honestly though I looked at the map her campsite's actually a lot nicer it's bigger it's kind of on the outer loop so you don't have like back neighbors behind you it seems a little bit more spacious so maybe she'll drive by that one and realize that she wants that back I don't know we'll see but I'm probably gonna leave the campsite anyway after I eat to go explore a little bit more, watch the sunset somewhere along the lake. It was such a strange encounter though. I'm glad I solved the mystery of this tent. It's all yours. She was just chilling in site 21. I'm just gonna go watch the sunset. It's 45 minutes early, so just hang out for a bit, maybe walk around. Oh my gosh, that was the most amazing thing. <laughs> so of course the sunset was beautiful. Um, so that was amazing on its own. But in addition to that, there was a couple, I mean, there were a lot of people there, but there was a couple there and, okay, sorry, I'm back. There was a family like getting into the car next to me and I felt awkward. There was a couple there who uh, were probably around my parents' age. I said hi to them earlier on, and then later they asked if I wanted them to take my picture, and I said, no, I was good. I didn't really need a picture. I offered to take one of them, and they said no. I just continued watching the sunset, and at one point, the woman came back up to me and told me I reminded her of her daughter and gave me this rock that she found on the beach. But it's like a crystal or geode that she said she found just on this beach and wanted me to have it. 
and it was just the sweetest thing so kind that she felt a connection with me and wanted me to have it it's like insane I honestly can't believe she found this on that beach again it's just another example of when I'm traveling especially alone and people are just so incredibly kind and I don't know it's just a reminder that like when it comes down to it we're really all just kind of I don't know how I'm supposed to back out of this this is kind of impossible I'm just gonna go for it Yeah, I don't know, that's just, I, my mind is still kind of blown. People are just amazing. Like, that's what it comes down to. Pretty cool though. All right, so this is the new campsite. plane dealer from today so it's about the guardians win yesterday but they won again today which is pretty cool peaceful sounds of the woods the children screaming in the other campsites what more could you want Oh, I think I see a creeper. A creeper is the type of bird that like creeps up the tree. We'll never know without Austin here. It smells so good. I didn't realize that when other people go camping at places like this, they have campfires in the morning. That's news to me. Seems like a good idea though on a chilly morning like this. Let's go. So for my last adventure here in Indiana Dunes National Park, it's actually in the part that I think might be Indiana Dunes State Park. It's called the Three Dune Challenge. So basically it's kind of a short hike, but it's supposedly challenging because you climb up three different dune peaks. This is cool. Stone gates guarding the entrance. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, we can't turn there. Hopefully they still accept the National Park Pass. 
All right, so I guess because it's a state park and it's not technically the national park, you do have to pay separately. The national park, America the Beautiful Pass doesn't count, so I don't know where I need to go, honestly. Very confused. All right, so I made it here. Yeah, I was confused on that. I guess this is in the state park portion that stayed a state park after the national park was formed. So it was $12 extra. I never feel too bad about spending money on parks because I figure it's going to a good cause. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name's Michaela. This is my YouTube channel. It's been almost exactly a year since I posted my first video to this channel. The theme is generally me doing random things. Oh, there's a little pecker. Can you see him? Random things outside in nature and filming it random adventures that I go on or projects that I do. So hopefully you want to stick around. Oh, another uphill part. Whew. Summiting the second dune. sand. So Indiana Dunes National Park and State Park. I can say I've been there done that now. Definitely wasn't the grandest of the national parks that I've seen this year but it was still a really good experience. First time camping in a site like that that was fun. About ready to head home so I can get back with a little bit of time to get ready for the week coming up. Thanks for coming along with me on another little solo adventure hiking camping whatever journey. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. I hope that it inspires you to get out somewhere nearby, go exploring, go outside. It's not too late yet. It's still kind of warm out. Um, I mean, you can do this stuff in the winter too, I think. Time to head back to Cleveland. I had to ask for help there. Got my ticket eventually. I wonder if it read my easy pass by mistake. I didn't think it was supposed to work in other states yet.